What makes a good web design? In this video, I'm going to talk about web design. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to share six web design tips and techniques that you can use to implement into your website to improve the look and feel very fast. So let's get started. Websites are the main component of the internet. People go online to look at information displayed on a website, whether that is text, photos, audios or videos. It is the window to everything online. That fact alone is enough to say and justify how important websites are and what viewers and people think of it. This is why having a good web design is important also. The design of your website is as important as the content as they go together in order to create an excellent website. Did you know that poor website design is often the primary reason for a website's failure? This is because it fails to engage the user that the moment they visit your website with a poor web design, they leave it immediately. Hence, if it's a business website, it automatically means no sales and no profit. So here are some web design tips and techniques. There are a lot of common website design mistakes that are still looked upon. These are little mistakes that some do not even think as mistakes. So here are some website design tips and techniques that will help. First up, fonts and text. Avoid too many tiny fonts, especially if your website is content rich. Make sure that you use the right color too and type because this will dictate the feel of your website. Avoid blinking text because this will look spammy, unprofessional and, and annoying. Vedana and aerial text are good for this. Navigation. The general rule is that users should always be able to get back to your homepage. Common practice is to make your website logo link to your homepage. Point three, images. Unorganized and ugly looking photos affect the whole website look and feel. Use a professional artist or designer for your images, especially if your website is image heavy. And also, you make sure that you use search engine optimization on each photo so that your photos can be found in the search engines. Links. Always make sure all links are properly working. You should make sure that you check each link personally to make sure that it opens in a new window preferably. Point five, contact details. Do not ever forget your contact details, whether it be an email, a phone number, or anything as long as you give your viewers a way to reach you. Point six, the look. Do not have too many versions of your website. This happens a lot and will make your viewers waste time on guessing which one is the legitimate one. Where possible, avoid using pop-ups. They are annoying and I'm sure 99% of the internet population also agrees with this. When you wanna put music, put an optional play button for them to voluntarily listen. A lot of online visitors will just close the website without looking the moment they hear loud, annoying music. If you want to put music, put an optional play button for them to voluntarily listen. Do not clutter your site with ads. It is fine to put ads as long as they are positioned strategically and properly. Make sure your capture letters are reachable and readable if you're using them. So where can you get some more information about web design? Hey, well, for more information, you can visit the following websites, which can give you lots of helpful information. Just click the pause button to write down the links so that you can review them in your own time. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to sharing with you again in the next video.